Yuri Prohaska, the Czech samurai, recently opened up in a lengthy interview on his YouTube channel about his loss to Alex Pereira at UFC 303 and what lies ahead for him in his MMA career. The video captures Prohaska's reflective mindset, shaped by his recent spiritual journeys, including completing the 250-mile Camino de Santiago pilgrimage in Spain. Currently in Australia, where he's training and spending time with native wildlife, Prohaska appears to have gained clarity about his future both inside and outside the octagon. In the interview, Prohaska addressed the mental challenges he faced leading up to his rematch with Pereira, attributing his loss to losing focus and being swayed by external influences, including black magic and mind games. He admitted to being distracted by Pereira's tactics and the energy around him, which compromised his performance. Prohaska emphasized that he has since refocused, distancing himself from those negative influences, and is now more committed to relying on his own inner strength and the support of his close community. As for his career, Prohaska discussed his potential move to middleweight, especially if Dreykus Duplessis continues to hold the title, though he remains comfortable at light heavyweight. He mentioned that he had floated the idea of fighting Jamahal Hill in the light heavyweight division, but no formal discussions have taken place yet. Prohaska remains flexible about his future, suggesting that his next move will depend on how the situation in both divisions unfolds. Given Israel Adesanya's recent loss at UFC 305, Prohaska's move to middleweight seems more likely, particularly if he sets his sights on capturing another title before potentially moving back up to light heavyweight. Israel Adesanya, the former UFC middleweight champion, has shared that he feels reinvigorated after a recent visit to his homeland, Nigeria. Following his loss to Dreykus Duplessis earlier this month, where he was aiming to reclaim the UFC middleweight title, Adesanya has been in search of renewal and clarity. The fight against Duplessis was a competitive one, but Adesanya ultimately succumbed to a fourth-round submission, marking a significant setback in his career. Despite the disappointment, Adesanya made a trip to Nigeria, where he was warmly welcomed by fans and spent time reconnecting with his roots. The visit appears to have had a profound impact on him. On social media, Adesanya expressed how the energy from his people in Nigeria inspired and amplified his spirit, signaling that the trip was both emotionally and spiritually rejuvenating for him. He also attended a local boxing event with fellow UFC fighter Sadiq Yusuf, further immersing himself in the vibrant culture of his homeland. This visit seems to have provided Adesanya with a much-needed change of scenery and a boost in motivation. Although his future in the UFC is uncertain, with no clear path forward in the middleweight division where he has already faced and defeated many top contenders, Adesanya's recent experience in Nigeria suggests that he still has the passion and drive to continue competing at the highest level in mixed martial arts. It seems that UFC CEO Dana White has reversed an earlier decision and awarded Wang Kong a performance of the night bonus after initially overlooking her following UFC Vegas 96. Wang Kong, who is rapidly gaining attention in the UFC, secured a swift knockout victory over Victoria Leonardo, finishing the fight in just over a minute. Despite the impressive performance, Kong was initially not awarded the performance bonus, leading to her expressing disappointment on social media. Kong, known for her striking skills and holding a previous kickboxing win over Valentina Shevchenko, voiced her frustration in a post, signaling that she expected more recognition for her efforts. Dana White, who was out of town during the fight, responded to her post by acknowledging her performance and announcing that he would be adding another performance of the night bonus specifically for her, awarding her $50,000. This decision highlights Wang Kong's rising profile within the UFC and serves as a reminder of how social media and fan engagement can influence outcomes in modern sports. Shara Bullet Magomedov 
a rising star in the UFC, is quickly gaining attention for his packed fight schedule, reminiscent of Kamzat Chimaev's meteoric rise. Magomedov, known for his distinct appearance and thrilling fight style, is set to fight again at UFC 308 in October, marking his third bout in just four months. This accelerated pace highlights the UFC's eagerness to capitalize on his momentum, especially given the challenges he faces in securing a license to fight in North America due to being blind in one eye. Magomedov made his UFC debut in October 2023, winning a unanimous decision against Bruno Silva. Since June 2024, he's been on a tear, defeating Antonio Trocoli via TKO in Saudi Arabia and Mihal Aleksicic six weeks later in Abu Dhabi. His upcoming fight against Armin Petrosian at UFC 308 will be another opportunity to showcase his skills on an international stage. Despite his impressive 14-0 record, Magomedov's victories have been less dominant than Chimaev's early run, with two of his three UFC fights going to decision. However, his exciting performances have earned him a Performance of the Night bonus and Fight of the Night honors. The match against Petrosian, an unranked but dangerous opponent, is expected to be another thrilling contest designed to generate fan excitement rather than deeply challenge Magomedov's abilities. UFC 308 in Abu Dhabi is shaping up to be a stacked card, featuring high-profile bouts like Ilya Topuria vs Max Holloway, Robert Whitaker vs Kamzat Chimaev, Magomed Ankalaev vs Alexander Rakic, and Cyril vs Alexander Volkov. Magomedov's inclusion adds even more intrigue to an already highly anticipated event. Diego Lopez is confident that his rescheduled fight against Brian Ortega at UFC 306 on September 14 will proceed without the issues that derailed their previous bout. Originally set to face each other at UFC 303 in June, the fight was disrupted due to Ortega's struggles with weight cut, leading to a last-minute replacement by Dan Ige. Despite the chaotic circumstances, Lopez adapted quickly and secured a decision victory over Dan, extending his UFC winning streak to four. Lopez, reflecting on the experience, shared that the unexpected changes tested his mental fortitude and adaptability, proving to himself that he's prepared for any situation in a fight. He remains unfazed by the possibility of Ortega missing weight again, acknowledging Ortega's history of difficult weight cuts but expressing confidence that Ortega will make weight this time with a full camp. Looking ahead to UFC 306, Lopez is focused on evolving and delivering a strong performance. He recognizes the significance of the fight, viewing it as a potential stepping stone toward title contention. While he isn't sure if a win over Ortega would immediately earn him a title shot, he believes it would position him as a serious contender, ready to step up if an opportunity arises. Lopez sees similarities between himself and Ortega, particularly in their boxing and grappling skills, and he is determined to finish the fight quickly and decisively. A victory over Ortega would undoubtedly elevate Lopez in the rankings and bolster his case for a future title shot.